welcome back to another video i'm at the crater of diamond state park and today i'm just going to walk around and surface hunt hopefully find that double digit laying on the ground and if you're new to my channel welcome i hope you like what you see today and i earn your subscription here we go so i'm on the east drain area up by the tree line and I can tell you right now that half of these rocks are mine and Hurricane Harden. At least half of this are his. So there's probably diamonds here. It's just not a really good spot to, uh, to surface hunt because all these washers, all the regulars will set up and have their wash tubs set up right here for the last 15 years and the rocks are coming back into the field. So it's a really good idea to get past this grassy line. There's a patch of grass right there. Get on the other side of that, get down in the uh, drain. And that's where we're gonna head to surface hunt. So right in here is a pretty good place to start. You can see how the gravel has gotten smaller. There's not a lot of really big rocks like up there. And that's what we're looking for, that really small. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's laying there. That caught my eye, and it's not glass. Where'd it go? Here it is. Piece of quartz. does look like quartz all right I'm gonna keep on searching Just see all the rocks it's kind of what I'm looking at right now a lot of lamprite here's some lamprite that's what the diamonds were formed in I can find a bigger piece and not far from that piece of quartz, there's a nice piece of barite right there. Check out the barite. Barite's a really good indicator. It's got that blue tint. That's your barite. That's one of your best indicators. Okay, I'm gonna keep on looking for that diamond. Made my way down from the shovel near where the old African wash station was set up during the old uh, one of the old mining operations they had a really big screen round screen that's when you come up to the crater of diamonds it's at the uh, visitor center right in the front of the parking lot uh, the entry and it was set up here they had several and it would turn and work the uh, material and they lost a lot of good material. As you see here in this photo, it's loaded with hematite, magnetite, and in the bottom lower corner, you'll see a shiny quarter carat rice shaped diamond that I found out of 18 buckets right here in this area. I think it was a little bit further up. It was somewhere around here. And that's where that place was set up. I got to wash a little bit of the uh, African wash material. Those guys were after the good stuff. They knew exactly what to, to wash back then. All right, let's head on down. I found 11 point fancy yellow just right under a canary yellow right in this bend. I grabbed about, I don't know, 12, 16, or 18 bucks. It was uh, two days after I got my half carrot that I found in the snake pit right here out of five buckets. Two days later, I flipped 11 point fancy yellow, and a man from Arizona was uh, talking to me at the time. It was his first trip, and he's never seen a diamond. 
and he could see that he was at least 10 feet away from me and he could see that yellow shine and goes i can i flipped and said i got one and he goes i can see it <laughs> and he's never seen a diamond in his life from from the crater that's how beautiful the canary yellows and this was right under a canary yellow it just wasn't quite this we call a fancy yellow i'm gonna head over here to the new trench and see if anything good is washed up and here's the new trench full of water be nice and uh, full of mosquitoes this summer and the best way to surface hunt is to get really low to the ground if you're past the age of 35 kids have an advantage out here one they're short and two their eyesight is so good that they can see that shine that the diamonds give out so if you're over 35 it's probably best to get down on your knees like me just getting up might be hard i've rode motocross for 15 years my knees are oh oh that's shiny quartz Duh. But, yep, yeah, that's the best way is get down here and you can really see everything. That diamond could be kind of halfway covered up and it's just best to get down here. There used to be a really long conveyor that ran across here, fed material to a plant over here somewhere. And every now and then that conveyor would lock up or break down and they would have to get up there and shovel all that good ore off and therefore all of this stretch right here has produced some good diamonds just because of them dumping that ore off because they had to get all the weight off to get the belt changed out or get get the conveyor moving again that's another thing to keep in mind still in the new trench I'm walking up this uh little erosion erosion little spot here and i noticed some gravel and a nice piece of agate I and mean, it's not like the best but it's got some color kind of what the agate looks like here um here's a little bit of the clear yeah it's not the best piece but it's the first agate so far that's actually not burnt hey it looks like a heart oh not really i mean it that kind of does but then that kind of ruins it big belly rock i'm over here on the next a little erosion trail and i found a bunch of wood popping out check out all this old wood it could be from that could be a looks almost like a sheet of plywood was once here see how it's just kind of thin not really like a log but that wood is a good indicator if it was like you know sheet of plywood they could have been covering up good ore with that plywood for sure that's a good little small a lot of small gravel in that and some good stuff over here come on diamond let's get a diamond Yeah, just straight up from that wood here's like a whole bunch and like where they somebody's dug right here and threw like something here and all this gravel's washed out or i'm not sure what's up with all this over here come on diamond But yeah, here's here's some uh, more wood. Oh, whoa! Like a look at all that. Yep, I have to come back over here with my shovel. That's just a big chunk of wood. I don't know what what's up with that. It's like a log. That's almost considered a heavy a log something from the old mining companies that could have a diamond near it okay i'm gonna head on over to the uh 
west drain but first we'll stop at canary hill and look for amethyst that place is known to have some of the highest quality amethyst in the world it comes from the crater of diamond state park you can get that stuff cut into a gemstone like no other really dark purple and i mean it's just outstanding okay i've made my way from the new trench over here past the pig pen which is all this area considered the pig pen and over here you'll notice when you get to canary hill that greenish looking rock it's just right here is the uh tough that's the volcanic ash that hardened during the eruption of the uh blowout of the pipe here's a really big chunk of it some of it's really pretty you get some mica mixed in with it it's really sparkly looks good in the flower bed some nice little whitey little whitey whiteys here look at little white stuff okay we're gonna walk around over here and might find a diamond here's that same tough big chunks of it all over the place purplish purplish tint to it that's a good sign for the amethyst let me switch cameras you got a better view got a little bit of purple tint to it not a whole lot just this darker color is a good good indicator Canary Hill. That's where the amethyst can be found. One spot. I know another spot that's pretty good. If we can get this video up to 500 likes, I'll come out here and make a video digging for amethyst in a secret spot. All right, we just come up from Beatty's Hill. So that way, I'm now walking up through the uh, edge of the west drain which is right over there and we're gonna walk up over to where here recently the park removed a really large tree that has been there for over 60 70 years you can dig around the tree so it's fresh material basically there's no telling who was able to dig in that last it could have been from the 50s Definitely, since it's been a state park, nobody's been there. I made my way up to the North Wash Station, and here's the tree that was removed. If you go back to my video, a tour of the new Crater of Diamonds, um, there'll be a card popping up. You can click on that, and it'll take you to that video, and you'll see where this tree was still standing. And all this material is pretty fresh. I mean, nobody's dug here in over 50 years or more. Um, it's probably been since the 50s since somebody's got the look over here and it looks like a lot of dirt so, anyway that's the tree that's been removed maybe somebody will get a nice diamond out of it this is Beatty's hill and this will give you a good idea of how much material is how much material has been removed um, you know, it was once level from where that tree was, it was straight. You know, all that is gone. You know, all this was straight all the way to the east drain. It was level. That's like 30 feet of material gone. 25 feet, I don't know, it's a lot of material. And a lot of it's washed out into the east drain into the woods. 
there's so much material in the woods and as you can see we could service hunt for a very long time over 36 acres to surface hunt on I believe I've had all the surface hunting I want to do for a day I well, hope you all enjoyed this video how to surface hunt or at least that's how I do it and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if we can reach 500 likes on this video i'll come out of here and dig a hole looking for amethyst at a secret spot that i know about well i hope you all enjoyed it and until next time take care everybody